It's not the twist, it's not the frug or the swim or the watusi. It is a Japanese phenomenon that happens every Sunday afternoon at Yoyogi Park in the Hirajuku district of Tokyo. Every weekend, groups of youngsters satisfy an addiction to an American legend. The members of the Midnight Angels are 17 to 20 years old. They're either too young or can't afford to go to dance clubs in the city. So their youthful energy goes into tearing up the asphalt on Sunday afternoon. What do their parents think? They'll laugh and say it's only rock and roll. But the leather jackets and the pointed boots are not worn around the house. Most of them have to change into their colors at the park. <laughs> The phenomenon began when a clothing store dressed a group of teens in trendy clothes as a promotion. Afterward, small clubs of youths would gather on Sunday afternoon to perform a sort of ritualistic dance. This group, called the Bamboo Shoots, were one of the originals. The dancing isn't exactly like the hoofing at an American sock hop. The scene at Harajuku is a swirl of music, most of it with its roots in the U.S. Beyond the boom boxes of the dancers, every 25 yards or so, there is a band set up on the street playing their hearts out. Not for donations, not for pay, just for the thrill of it. There's a group for every decade. Mods. Heavy metalists. Punkers. and rockabilly. Jim G, bless the enemies. Buddy Hori? Okay. James Dean, Sam Cooke, Paul Anka, and Jerry Lee Lewis are all heroes to these kids. But the biggest of all, well, even on Tokyo TV, he translates pretty well. Are these rebels without a cause? They're kids in a society where individualism sometimes is lost in the crowd. These youngsters don't stand for any issue other than cool. They make no demands other than let's dance. What do they want? Oh, 